Hi, Penthouse 7 friends. This is our second episode of our new segment, Three Questions. And I'm very happy to start it with Charito Ampil's questions for me. Hello, Anna. Here are my questions. You are such a good dancer, and I know you started young. Who was your first teacher or mentor in your dancing skills? Or did you just learn from watching? Well, when I was five years old, I did take some ballet lessons with Georgie Felix. But I sprained my ankle so fast, I never came back. So I don't consider anyone my first teacher, really. But you're right, I did watch. And I watched a lot. I grew up watching my dad dance, my titas and titas dance. Every family gatherings we had, there were a lot of dancing. And that's all I did was watch and enjoyed it. And of course, tagged along with my dad when he'd go to rehearsals to my Tito Chito Felicianos house for the Latin group's rehearsals. Yeah, I was exposed to Latin dance. That's why I love it so much. But the real good hard training happened when I was in Penthouse 7. And you're right again there. I started early. I was in the show when I was 13 years old. And I'm, I'm blessed to have my dad's dancing genes. He is the reason I'm dancing. To be able to be in one show with him is, is a dream come true. And to dance in the same dance floor with him and my little Archie and my titas and titas in the Latin group. And of course, my brothers and sisters in the modern group. Pantel 7 was a place where I learned to spread my wings. I learned to dance and dance and love it. And what are your other interests aside from dancing? Hope to hear from you and thank you for your time and more power to Penthouse 7. I'm interested in fashion styling, flower arranging, creating accessories, I like very much to do community service. I love cats and dogs. I dream one day that I'll be able to have a pet shelter for them. Choreographing, conceptualizing. It's pretty obvious that dancing is my first love. Second to that would be singing. But hey, I'm a dancer that can sing not a singer singer <laughs> but again i'm blessed to have been able to do both to be able to have best of both worlds after Pantel 7 i did singing and dancing together i was in the band scene for a long time but i no longer sing professionally but i have the opportunity to continue singing for him so, thank you, Cherito. It's my pleasure to answer your questions. Take care and hope to hear from you soon. And also hope to hear from our other friends out there. Our questions, okay? Take care. Bye. Hello, I'm Marlene, and I'm here to answer Elvis' question for me. Oh, Elvi, thank you for sending us this question, and I'm so thrilled to answer it for you. Anyway, Elvi's question is, Marlene, how did you develop such a vivacious personality? Well, Elvi, the secret is I always work with children. I, uh, after my television and show business uh, work, I shifted to working with children. I, I, I went into teaching. I, uh, even during my times when I was on TV, I used to teach children a lot, but during summer. In the summer, I would teach theater, dance, creative movement, and all of these things. So I discovered something that was very nice and I really enjoyed it. Working with children is so much fun and I somehow imbibe their childlike personality. Aside that, I have always been like this. And from my family background, 
from the time we were little, you know, dinners and lunches were always made up of giving the funniest jokes in the family. So it was like that. It was always looking at the funnier side of things. My dad would even call me first thing in the morning, say, guess what, Marlene, I have a new joke for you. You know, something like that. And of course, the most important thing is I always am very grateful for everything that happens to me, whether it's good or bad. I'm grateful because I know somehow at the end of that tunnel or anything that you go through from challenges or difficulties, it all turns out for the good. And I'm so grateful for this and I continue to bring happiness and joy to everyone. Thank you, LB. Okay, here we are now in our segment called Three Questions, where we answer questions submitted to us from any one of you um, interested in what we do and when we did it or whatever and we happily reply to it. So I have a question that I'm answering that was sent by Elvira Fernandez. Elvi asks that apart from uh, watching the show and our dancers, she would also take note of our, our uh, clothes and what we were wearing. And she was asking if we were ever had uh, sponsorships for our outfits during the show. Well, thank you for uh, noting that because we really took an effort we really made an effort to wear appropriately based on what type of dances we were going to do and uh, at the same time we also wanted to continue the spirit of the party which penthouse 7 was so uh, the men and the women both had sponsorships the men, the women had uh, via veneto for their shoes they had uh, designers uh, like efren africa and barge ramos who and other designers who would uh, submit clothes to them, provide them with outfits that they would pick, pick, out, pick out and wear during the course of the, the season that we had. For the men, uh, we had, I remember we had Jerry K make us some satin pants, which we used very, very often because at the time disco was, was booming and you know, colorful uh, disco pants and satin, what, how else uh, would, were sat, would satin be appropriate for accepting the disco, right? So we would be wearing our satin pants often. Barge Ramos also made us suits at one point. Uh, we would wear them for the show as well. And um, before I joined, there was, there was I think, shoe wear also, footwear, but uh, I think uh, some boot maker uh, that I didn't benefit from because I wasn't there yet. I would have wanted to have one of those boots. Um, so there you go. Um, yes, we did have sponsorships, and yes, uh, we made them, we wore them in accordance to how the dance was going to go so that it would look appropriate and uh, once again i thank you for asking that question do submit more questions any of you out there do submit more questions email them at info at penthouse7.com you can also email the video where we will now present your video and then side by side with our video response there we see each other on tv and if we don't see each other on tv or on youtube we'll see you on the dance floor